Hello, and welcome to Payday 2, and to my Payday 2 starter guide. My name is Ethan K. Atena, and I've decided I'm going to make a series of videos about Payday 2, what you can expect, and some of my general pointers and such that I've collected over the past few years and 1,000 plus hours. Whether you're brand new to the game, picked it up a while back, and been hesitant to give it a try, you haven't played in quite a while, or you're just looking to waste a few minutes, let's get right to it. This first video won't contain much in the way of gameplay, this is me setting ground rules for how the rest of the series will go, and kind of just ease you into looking at the menus and, you know, it's not a good way to start, is it? Payday 2 is a first person shooter, more specifically a first person horde shooter action RPG. A lot of terminology there, it's not important, you shoot a lot of things. And Overkill makes games where you shoot a lot of things. Since its launch in 2013, the game's received over 150 content patches of all sorts, and it can be daunting to figure out what to do when you're brand new to the game. Before we take a look at it, I will lay down some ground rules. This first video is me mostly ground rules. I'll be playing this game from level 0 on an alternate account of the PC version of the Ultimate Edition on Steam. On the Steam store page for Payday 2, you will find both the regular and the Ultimate Edition. Save for a single charity pack, the Ultimate Edition comes with all the paid DLC, whereas the regular version is just the free DLC. There's also a PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch version of Payday 2, which all use various outdated versions of the game. So if you're not seeing a weapon or a mechanic or something in this video, it might be because the console version hasn't updated yet. Or, you know, the PC version's gone a bit weird. That said, I'll make sure to note whether or not something is Ultimate Edition exclusive on screen. While I would mention if something is available on console or not, that information could become outdated, and I don't want to have to continually re-release new versions of these videos. Right off the bat, this is Payday 2. I'm going to go into the options and change a few settings. I'm going to specifically mention here, I'm going to be changing the color filter. Payday 2 uses a blue color filter by default and its name is on screen, and it kind of washes out many of the colors. I prefer max saturation, which makes things look just a lot more vibrant. Now let's go take a look at the inventory screen. Here you can pick up new weapons, oh, ooh, we're, we're broke. Well, we can look at new weapons. Many weapons are available right at level zero, so let's just keep a mental note of what we got. So that way, when we're done with the AM car or we don't like it anymore, we can take a look at what other options we got. And you unlock plenty of weapons in the first couple levels. Here we can also select a new character. Ooh, a lot of the stuff is locked behind the Payday community group, but that's fine. Just go ahead and click follow on the community hub and restart the game and it'll all be unlocked. On console, you don't need to do this and you'll have Jacket and Hawks unlocked from the get-go. If you're wondering how to unlock Jacket, that's available through the Hotline Miami 2 Digital Deluxe Edition, which is about $20. It's a whole separate game. And Hoxton, you will get back to Hoxton. We'll talk about that one later. Your choice of character and mask don't mean anything in terms of gameplay, so just pick one of these lads or lasses and a face-concealing device of your choice, and you're off. We can also take a look at the perk decks. We'll touch on these again when we cover Loud, and I'm also going to do a separate video about the perk decks. But let's just flip through and take a look here and also at the extensive wiki to see what options we have and we'll pick one and stick with it. I personally think Muscle, Armor, Ex-Presidents, and Stoic are best choices for a brand new player, but I'm going to go with Grinder. No matter what you pick, I will say now that you probably don't want to start dumping points into Crew Chief right away. It's a very tricky perk deck to use, especially if you're brand new to the game. That's why I recommend picking one now so you can start dumping points into it at level 5, level 10 and you're not dumping points into a tougher to use perk deck, you can pick something that you can ease right into the game and it makes things a lot easier. But what I will mention now about the perk decks is they usually fall into three categories. You have armor, dodge, and regen. We'll cover that when we cover loud and the various gameplay styles, but they're not very important because at level zero, you don't have a perk deck, they're all inactive, and you're stuck with the suit. The suit offers just 20 armor points and a little bit of dodge, but it's also the most concealable and the fastest and the lightest piece of armor we have. As for melees, you have a couple choices starting at level zero, so pick whichever one strikes your fancy. I'm gonna go for the Switchblade, because I like the Switchblade. Now that that's all out of the way, two pieces of pop-up text that we got at the beginning were for the Basics Heist and the Safe House. I'm gonna recommend saying no to the Basics and then going to the Safe House first. Here you will complete a basic mission and get to see some actual gameplay in action before being offered $5,000. $5,000 isn't much, and that's kind of where the basics heists come in. Loud and Stealth will get their own separate videos of mine, but I do recommend playing these if you haven't seen these before. I'll tell you now, you do not own a suppressor. This makes your gun quiet so people don't hear you. The Stealth Heist, the Stealth Basics Heist, 
gives you suppressed weapons. I'm telling you this now so you don't attempt to melee all the guards the game sends you after. Melee is always silent, and because at that point in the game I didn't have any suppressed weapons, I just assumed I'd have to melee everybody. That's not what happens. You have suppressed weapons. You can shoot these people from distance. I had to restart the tutorial. I will also mention now some basics on the gameplay. Payday 2 is simpler than it looks, actually. Most actions you complete just require holding a button for the duration of a timer, which is represented with the circle in the middle of the screen. And on easier difficulties, you're dealing with a sparse number of enemies with low health, and it's usually manageable no matter what you bring. Stick behind cover when you can, keep an eye on your teammates and your enemies, keep close to your teammates, and keep away from enemies. And note that the game points out where your objective is, where you need to go next, or where important items are on the map. You don't need to memorize these maps, and you especially don't need to memorize where you placed, say, a doctor bag, an ammo bag, or maybe just some loot. All of that is visible via contours, and you can always see where those are even if they're behind walls. But the basics gives you the basics. It's enough to get your foot in the door, kind of see how the game works, and it gets some cash in your pocket, and quite a bit of experience. Completing both basics heists nets you enough experience to hit level 10, and a decent chunk of starting cash as well. Leveling up is quick in Payday 2, as long as you consider that, as long as you don't consider that there are 2,600 level ups to go through. Ah, don't worry about that. Again, we will talk about more of this in later videos. This is just an introduction video to kind of just get the basics here. Introduce the game. You get to see what it looks like. And because we got some money, we can actually buy a couple weapons. Because the game is always being updated, there will always be more and more weapons, and a lot of them have been leaning towards being accessible from level zero. I think it's because Overkill assumes most people are already ha at a high level, but this works out well for new players as well. For a primary assault rifle, I highly recommend the Union 556. It's stronger and faster than the AM car that you start off with. You'll be able to keep firing at longer ranges with this and keep on your targets easier. This is one of my favorite assault rifles in the game, even at, you know, level 100. For secondary weapons, we could grab another pistol. The game starts you off with a Shimano 88, and I have no problem with the Shimano 88, but I think I'll take the Spec Ops submachine gun instead. Once again, we'll touch on more specific weapon information in a later video, but for now, the big thing to know is that submachine guns, or SMGs, are very much like the AM car and the Union. They're fully automatic, usually low damage with deep ammo reserves. The weaker end of pistols are also like this, but they're usually not fully automatic. Usually. Following the basics, the game opens up quite a bit. You could follow the storyline, or you could just kind of start jumping into missions and learning about the game for yourself. We'll be able to talk about various weapons, louds, stealth, and beyond from here. With that said, join us next time when we are going to give Loud a look and put our new acquisitions to the test. We'll be talking some specific missions for starting off as a brand new player, as well as some things to keep an eye on and take in as you run and gun and shoot and loot. Thanks for watching, and until next time, see you around. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, I'd recommend subscribing. Patreon and social media links are in the description.